What's today? Today's Sunday. Sunday the 26th. 26th. I should know this. It's the day after Christmas. Want to say hi? Hi. I was going to have cat intro, but I think cat is sad. I'm sorry, cat. Cat is disappointed. It's Sunday, December 26th, and we have a big sad. Um, this is a big sad we've kind of seen coming. But we were hoping. We had hope. The hope has died. We were hoping we were wrong, and we knew the hope was going to die. Like, I don't know, but I knew the hope was going to die. Oh, yeah, same. I've known for weeks the hope was going to die, and having the final, like, nail in the coffin was kind of tonight. When we tested the bars. So... To kind of explain. You may remember, if you follow us on Twitch, that we did a couple of chaos soaps over on Twitch. Uh, Kat made this darker, um, in the pot, rainbow swirl. And I did the super structured, layered rainbow, which is the Pride Redux. This one with the rainbow lines and the gold mica. So we've known this one did some weird stuff for a while. And several weeks ago, I was looking at the bars because we noticed they were discoloring. And I knew something was off about the bars. And I I knew there was something wrong. And I had a suspicion that they were lie heavy. We're not really sure how they became lie heavy. But I was like 99% certain they were lie heavy. Uh, And I told Kat. And we'd kind of been sitting on them for a while, not really sure what to do. Thinking maybe I could be wrong. It's entirely possible it could be wrong. And there are some tests you can do. They're not the most accurate things on the planet. So, like, don't use those as, like, a for sure. But when you are already suspecting something's wrong, it can be a good way to confirm your suspicions. I had some leftover red cabbage from the dinner that we made tonight. And what you can do is you can take distilled water, red cabbage, and blend it up, strain out the cabbage chunks, and use the juice to test the pH of the soap. Again, this is not a super accurate testing method. Keep that in mind. Soap Queen has a good article on it if you want to read about it. But um, I'm going to put on screen now sort of a B-roll of the results of that test. So when you put the red cabbage juice and distilled water mixture on there, it causes a pH reaction. A balanced soap should turn kind of a blue. A lye-heavy soap, the mixture will turn either green or yellow. Oh, it's turning yellow now, by the way. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, so I went ahead and I tested some of the bars and I had been telling Kat, it was so weird. It was like heavily in one color only on the bars and it was the green. And we had been pondering what the hell happened for the last couple weeks, and I finally went back today, and, and why there was so much fucking green? Because I it was a gray base. We did we didn't realize it was a gray base. Yeah, we'd forgotten because it's been a while since we made it. I'll have to look up the date that we actually did the stream, but we had there was so much green in the soap, and we're like, that's so weird. Why is there so much green? And just now we went back and we looked through the vod for the stream. And realized that we'd had a gray base on that one. So everything that was green was originally gray. And turned green and was lie heavy. What exactly happened? Don't know. Um, It's kind of hard to tell looking back through the footage where where things went wrong. Everything else in the soap is fine. All the other colors are fine. But what had originally been gray is lie heavy. So these bars are not safe. We can't sell these. Uh, We're going to have to throw them out. We could rebatch them i guess but we don't have rebatch equipment you know you need like a what do you call those things like a crock pot but specifically only use that one for soap and not for food and we technically have two crock pots it's so much work and it has all the colors in it so it's going to be ugly as as absolute fuck yeah I don't want to bother rebatching. Yeah, it, it would be so ugly and... I don't want my pretty creation being ugly. I'd rather it go in the trash. <laughs> if it can't be beautiful, it can go in the garbage. <laughs> Into trash! So, yeah. Sorry, cat. Mm. I don't know what happened. I don't either. <sighs> I might remake it. We'll see. Yeah. 
So if you were looking forward to this one, I'm sorry. We're going to have to get rid of it. We can't sell this. It's not safe. Um, everything else has been fine. So I... It, it's literally only this one. It's a mystery. I, I mean, I could go back and try and watch the VOD again, but... I... <sighs> I don't know. It's literally only this one. Like, everything else has turned out perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. So. <sighs> this is why you always pay attention to your soaps after they've cured and double check them and make sure they look like they're still good and test them if you need to. It's just good practice to be familiar with what you're working with because then you can notice stuff like this and know that it's not okay. So. Apologies to anyone that was looking forward to this one. We'll try and get the chance to remake it if we can. Um, it's just not safe. We can't do it. Uh, what we've been doing the rest of today, though, has been primarily chores. And product photos and beveling soaps. And packaging. Oh, yeah, let me show you. So Everything's beveled! Everything's beveled. <laughs> the entirety of everything that's been sitting on the shelves is beveled. It's all ready to go. Um, <laughs> so many sample bars and mini bars, yeah, mini know. bars, mini bars, sample bars and mini bars, <laughs> sample bars and mini bars. <laughs> more of these. And yeah. Bubble scoops and bubble babies. Or um, we have two bubble babies left. Sample bars, sample bars, mini bars, mini bars. So many. So yeah, Kat's bringing up the other problem that we had is that we ran out of soap boxes. <laughs> I thought we had enough. Um, and what I had thought was one size of soap box was actually another. So that was my bad. Um, unfortunately, where we buy our soap boxes from, they're out of stock. <laughs> Supply chain issues has been the name of the game this year, I'll tell you what. Uh, so fuck supply chain issues uh, it sucks so we have like this size for the prism soaps um which we use for high tops and that's what i need for mothman for like my soul and a couple other things but i'm out and paper mart's out and i can't find any other suppliers that sell that particular size great normally we have this size but now we also have, oh, that's not it. Hold on. Let me put you down for just a second. You can hang out right here on the shelf. Look, you're a soap. So now we also have these, which are really similar in size to these little guys, just ever so slightly bigger, which I got these for when we do low tops in the Brambleberry five pound molds. So like when we do our pride series, um, I need more of these <laughs> than what we do in our slabs fits in these guys. So there's that. Um, I have lots of these, but I'm all out of the ones that we use for the high tops, which means I can't package Mothman or like my soul right now. They don't fit in the boxes. They're too tall to fit in those other two sizes. And with launch in a few days, because this is officially the start of launch week. Launch is in a few days. And I, even if I could find a supplier that has those boxes, they're not going to get here in time. And Paper Mart's been out for a while now. And there's nothing I can do about that. So Mothman is probably going to have to go into orders in like a glassine bag. Because that's all I've got. Um, so that'd be kind of like this. Where it's got the label on the top. And we listened... I started adding the scent to the labels. Sorry, I hadn't been doing that previously. It was like dumb fuckery. So, uh, there's nothing we can do. It, the last time I tried to order boxes, soap boxes from Paper Mart, they had been out for a while then too. And that's just the nature of a lot of supplies right now. So if you hear people complaining, especially small business owners about supply chain issues, this is the kind of thing that's going on. What are you going to do? <laughs> and like, I would love to the next time they're in stock to buy like a thousand boxes, but that's a lot of money. That's a lot more money than the business has available to purchase boxes. <sighs> So I, I can only purchase so much at a time and 
use them. Because I'll only have so much storage space at a time, even if I clear out a corner in my storage unit. Exactly. So space is at a premium at our house. Um, a lot of you, I, I imagine it's fairly obvious at this point that we run the business out of our home. And this is a 13, slightly over 1300 square foot home with six people living in it and a business. S space is getting tight. <laughs> I think I've mentioned in a few of the vlogs how much we're running out of space just to be able to have stock. And Prism takes up an entire shelf to itself right now. Um, which on an update on that, because uh, folks have been asking, because we said that it was supposed to be out this month, because this is still technically December, um, even though this vlog will not go up until probably January. Happy New Year, by the way, uh, for when this goes up. Uh, so June got a hold of us. June and Robin got a hold of us and let us know that they're going to have to push things back. There's some stuff going on outside of their control, too, and they just needed some extra time, which is fine. It happens. Not a big deal. I have the listing ready to go. The second they tell me it's time to go live, it'll be live and available. <laughs> um just waiting on them. So make sure, go send them some love. They've been working really hard on their end and have been doing their best to keep us surprised of what's going on. And they've been a blast to work with. So just make sure you go, go send some love over to the uh, Ginger Ninja team. They are a lovely bunch of people. So that's been today. Uh, we're going to go throw out Kat's unfortunate rainbow soap. So you know, please play the, the dirge now in honor of the rainbow soap dying. I'm sorry. Bury your gay soap. <laughs> I'm sorry, soap. It's been a day. It's been a day. It's been kind of a stressful day. We just, we've been nose to the grindstone all day. We took pretty much most of Saturday off because it was Christmas day and we just wanted to we spend time no with the family. Did no business stuff on Saturday. No business. So today was a lot of business to compensate. I have work tomorrow. Uh, I don't think I actually ended up getting Friday off for launch day. And I don't think I'm actually out early. They're like, oh, every, you know, we're getting out early at 4.30. I'm like, bitch, I work till 3.30. Damn it. Launch week. And a new year starting soon. I'm just saying I have to go back to work. And I love my job but I hate my current working conditions. I know. I'm sorry. I hope it changes soon. Me too. It sucks. So, it, it, I don't know. It's been kind of a down day, I think. Kind of low energy. But Kat got Laundry Mountain tackled. I made dinner. I handled uh, editing product photos that Kat took a bunch of time taking. We got things done. So I, took, I think I took more product photos today than I have in a long time because I had... All the Dorothy series. Um, oh, shit. Hmm. Did you forget something? Did we ever do product photos for the new Pride bars? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Don't come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it tonight. Because I'd had s set aside three of all the other ones, and apparently Pride was the one that got left out. Sorry. It's probably my bad. I also tried to make lie this evening so that we could film the first video for next month's collection uh, and realized that we're out of lie. <laughs> now, I, I, I Three ounces short? Three ounces short, yeah. And the other container that had some lye left over, not enough to do a slab, but had some lye left over. Uh, I put the water in it, so now it's like super watered down lye. <laughs> So that still needs like 25.95 ounces of lye. And then the big container that I started mixing up is like three ounces short. We do have a, an order of lye coming in because like a while ago I noticed we were low on lye and I ordered it. But again, supply chain issues and the slowness of shipping during the winter holidays. I think it's estimated to be here on Tuesday. So like knock on wood, it actually gets here on time so that we can get into production week for next month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I still have to send my parents and my brother. Yeah, we have a lot of packages that we need to send out. We have orders we need to package. Fuck. Yeah, me. I'll probably work on it tomorrow. Because um, okay. we can't take it out tonight anyway. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, sorry, this has been a really long intro to this vlog. Apologies. I'm going to put in some more interesting stuff going forward. So, cool. Catch you later.
What you doing, Raven? Sewing. Making your cloak. Because you've left it on the table for too long. Or on the back of a chair for too long, rather. So, uh, I'm gonna make it. What are you doing? I'm gonna sit and watch. <laughs> You're gonna sit and watch. Uh, I am gonna have to, once I have all the sides put together, let it sit overnight and, like, hang. So that the hems aren't, or the, uh, yeah, the hem isn't all jacked. So just a heads up on that. Okay. So it is, uh, what, Monday? Yes. What's today? Monday. 27th. Monday the 27th, and Kat's cloak is nearly finished. I went ahead and attached the lining and got the hood on. It still needs to have, needs a bit of a hem in here because the way they put it together has the raw edges out. Like, I don't understand why it was constructed that way in, in the instructions, but whatever. And then uh, it's quite long. Can we, can we see the back? So Kat looks sufficiently dark and mysterious and then the front comes up a little bit a little shorter in the front so i think it needs to hang for a couple of days because this hem means business <laughs> i mean look how much difference we're already getting in the like 24 hours so here's the wool blend and then this is the knit which i kind of expected that it was going to really heavily stretch uh, i went ahead and tacked in the seams on the inside tacked the knit to the wool blend, so that should help distribute some of the weight a little bit, but it does still need to hang for a bit before I hem it. But it's a start! <laughs> <laughs> Dark and evil cat. Evil snack lady. Snack lady? Snack lady. Makes sense. <laughs> Cat's been barely containing patience. I managed to contain it. You should be proud of me. I am proud of you. Look at you. I waited all day. Tell me my fancy sprinkles. Fancy sprinkles. Not sponsored. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ooh, hollow packaging. Ooh. So this is Stroke of Midnight. He's New Year's themed. Hold on. It's a, uh, it's prism powder. Prism powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Heaven forbid. Safety sealed. Ooh. Fancy silvery glitter. And then this one looks like it's like a white glitter. For food and drink. Food and drink. Is. So you can eat glitter. Edible. <laughs> Glitter. This one's white. Mm -hmm. And then these are like actual sprinkle sprinkles. Ooh. Can use those on bath bombs, I guess. Right? Well, I mean, they're still edible. Sure. What's in here? Funny thing is, is they're mica based. You don't get to see that yet. No, not yet. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we go through these first. <laughs> But the big box. The big box is the last. I wanna know what's in the big box. Give to me your mysteries. It will, it will. These are more, these are luster powders. Ooh. Still edible. What are you gonna luster? Or no, these ones are for painting and highlighting. Edible dust. Are these edible or not? I'm confused. For drinks. Edible dust. This one says... Oh, I wonder if it's maybe meant to be for like... Um, uh, da, 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 da. Decorating your glasses. Oh, see, I was thinking like... Uh, what's that stuff? The rimming. You usually don't want to eat it because it kind of tastes like garbage, but people use it to make super fancy cakes. What's it called? Fondant? Yeah, fondant. Maybe it's for that? Alright, what's in the box? Mysteries. Mysteries. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's like every color. Wow. Fine edible glitter. What's the plan here? To 
eat glitter. What are you <laughs> just gonna straight eat glitter? The shit glitter. Like the cinnamon challenge, but it's glitter? What is shit glitter? Gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll find out that Kat, whether or not Cat has actual plans for this or just bought it because they could. It's edible glitter. Right. But like, to what end? It's going to go in my booze. It's going to go on food. I'm going to start baking and it's going to go on everything oh. I bake. Okay. Okay. The world will shit glitter. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. I went to the post office. More packages. More P.O. Box goodies. This one's from Fallen. Also, it's uh, it's Tuesday. What's up? What's up? Welcome to Tuesday. It's Skizzers. I need Skizzers. You, how long has this been sitting up here? You've been waiting? And you didn't prepare at all? I wanted to, like, have the joy of us opening it together. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Make me do all the work. I went and got the package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally just got off work. Like, just. I was patient. <laughs> I waited for you to get off work. Could have got scissors. I'm going to keep giving cat shit because I can. <laughs> Cat gives me shit during filming of videos. I give cat shit during vlogs. I give, I give you shit all the time. It's more than just filming videos. I mean, this is true. I give you shit during live streams, too. True. Things like, hey, Raven, no, are you ice no, cream? No, we're not gonna playing. Lick nope, we're going to open the, you. Open the package. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, cookies? <clears throat> cookies. Ooh. Cookie. The box. I got the box. The box. What's the? Oh, motherfucker! No, get off of there! I want the cookies. Gimme, 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 gimme. Give give you think the kids heard the word cookie? Because now I hear pounding. See, <laughs> our little trees. Are they like shortbread? They look like maybe a shortbread. Or a sugar cookie. Oh, they're a shortbread. Yum. I like shortbread They're a not lot. quite as sweet as a sugar cookie. I like shortbread. I'm opening this box. <laughs> the tea. Hold on. Hold on. There's more. I will not hold on. Oh, what? Is, what happened? I'm not even going to see what the wrapped ones in here are. I'll get to it. Ooh, little streusel cakes. Yum. Mm -hmm. Maybe to be clear, too, we don't uh, normally recommend sending um, homemade food <laughs> to our P.O. Box, please. We just know Fallen, and we've known Fallen for a while now, so it's okay. But, like, please don't normally do that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got <laughs> chocolate. Ooh. Mmm. I like peanut butter balls. Put the balls in your mouth, cat. I'm trying. Put the balls in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Fallen. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Oh, these are really good. Oh, and here's Bunny's holiday card. Thank you, Bunny. If y'all don't follow Bunny, um, she is really awesome. She has a whole bunch of different social medias. She's on Instagram. And she's on Twitch, and she's on OnlyFans. She's such a sweetheart. Also sassy, and we love that. Oh, there's more! Oh. It says, Happy Holidays, I hope to travel more, and maybe see you in 2022, 2023. Be good, make soap. Hell yeah. Bunny. Bunny, we are hoping to be at VidCon this year, so maybe we can hang out then. Atten's got something in it. What are you? It sounds like seeds. It doesn't have a name, so I'm not sure who it's from. Yeah, be careful opening it. I don't know what's I've sensed enough people glitter to oh, know God. to be careful. It's not glitter, right? Glitter wouldn't make that noise. Depends on the type of glitter. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I saw glitter! Oh, it's glitter. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> ah! It's glitter. Ah! 
Oh, thank God for the box. <laughs> nice. Hold on. Oh, no! 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 No, 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 no! No, no! No! Get away. Get away. Let the power of logic compel you! Let the power of logic compel you! Get back! 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 Love how I was like, I've, I've set enough glitter bombs to know what's in here. Back, chaos demon. Back! I had glitter in my hair! It's on your shoulders. <laughs> it, it's down your shirt. God damn it! <laughs> Freaking glitter <laughs> slut! <laughs> ah! No! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> being freaking assaulted with glitter. It's from Jerry. And Banks. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you! This is Cat and Raven. Happy holidays and best wishes for a bright and glittery new year. And then on the inside, it's got the little carol, what, carols in the frosty night, holly boughs and candlelight, children's faces shining bright, how sweet the joys of Christmas. Thank you. He's so sweet. Don't thank you, though. <laughs> Why? No. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> <It's enough. laughs> no more. Thank you for at least cleaning up after yourself. God dang. Not complete asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time to make dinner and I'm making a, what is this? A chicken sausage and roasted pepper penne tonight. So it's uh, looking pretty good. And I'm enjoying these lovely Raycons from Monica. Kat and I have been wearing them like constantly. They're so useful. Like they're, they're actually really good. So loving that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go back to making my dinner. I've got my pasta cooking. Got my onions starting to heat up. Bell peppers are in the oven. Yum, yum. All done. Yum, yum. <laughs> Welcome to Wednesday. We just finished doing our first soap double feature that we've done in a really long time. So I'm really excited with how the soaps came out so far. Hopefully the video editing's not extra complicated for me, but I guess we'll find out. And uh, don't mind my uh, post hairnet look here. It's uh, very fairy in fashion. Thank you very much. Here's how they're looking. I think they're looking really cool. So that's bougie bitch. And that's hot mess for this year, which I don't know. I'm really digging the top this year. I think it looks really cool. All right. So we're going to chill and uh, go to bed and then do the normal job thing for me in the morning. I'm not looking forward to Monday. I'm sorry. Fuck Monday. Well, at least. Fuck Monday with a razor blade dildo and no lube. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, I, I've just been working, so I'm going to go back to doing that. Shit lighting makes me look better. <laughs> Lighting, sometimes good, sometimes shit. Currently shit. Sorry. Uh, welcome to January 1st of 2022. Rabbit, rabbit. Happy New Year. Happy New Month. Let's make it a good year, yeah? I don't think we have control over that anymore. I've got to do my best. <laughs> I want to quit my corporate job this year or next year. I don't know. I would, I would like to quit my job as well. Yeah, I want to do this full time. Let's do this full time. Okay, cool. We're going to work on that. Yes, That's we'll the goal. work on that. Goals. Okay, cool. So we didn't vlog yesterday. It was New Year's Eve and it ended up being a really busy day. I had a full shift at my corporate job and then we did some streaming for packaging and then we had a uh, get together with some friends uh, for New Year's Eve and... It just, there just wasn't a good time to vlog. Um, so we're vlogging now. We just got done with a second round of packaging stream for about a little over three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Um, got most of the packages done. We only have a few left to go. It was, I think, about 35 orders so far this launch, which honestly, better than I expected. So <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was the, the first launch after, you know, Christmas and of the new year. Oh my God, it's getting really dark in here. You can barely see anything. All right, we're going to go check the P.O. box and then we're going to run some errands and then come back and do movie night. So yes. we'll be back in a bit. All right, so we're saving time this time. Getting a big old bag of garlic cloves because I need more of those 
roasted garlic cloves in my life. I was putting them in everything. They're delicious. I need more. More! Man. Oh, I wish I could give you like smell a vision like oh the whole house smells so good. So much garlic. Yeah, I think this will last a couple weeks. <laughs> last time we went through the whole jar in maybe about a week. It's so good, y'all. It is so good. It's just garlic cloves in olive oil and a little bit of canola oil this time around at 250 degrees in the oven for like two and a half, three hours. Just, that's it. They're amazing. So good. Do you remember how we were having that conversation about how you're not sure if you're ADHD and how like apparently ADHD people get started on one task and end up doing like four others? Yeah. I thought you were just putting away <laughs> the cleaning pads and now you're in here cleaning the whole dang toilet. Yeah, because it needs it. <laughs> I know it does. It's just funny. I thought we were going to film opening the PO, the box from the P.O. box. We will as soon as I'm done. <laughs> I'm almost done! <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Alright, well, should we open the package now? Yes. Did you get it started this time? No. Struggle. Fucking whore. Struggle for me, bitch. <laughs> So this is from Jenna. So I figured it opened relatively easily. No! Just some bullshit. <laughs> Just some bullshit. <laughs> no, no, no! Keep your peanuts to yourself. No. Mm. <laughs> There's a note. I think it's just padding in there now. Pretty sure. Let's just be sure. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was just padding. Cool. <laughs> Fuck you too. Right? So nice. But thank you, Jenna. It was a super sweet note. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that we make a positive impact on your life. Oh! What is? Ooh! I like this. Yes. Oh, are there two of them? Yes! Yes! You go on my keychain. Awesome. This is so cool! This is totally going on my keychain, too. Hell yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! That's so cool! Whoa! Jenna, did you make this? Wow! It's like a rainbow galaxy! It's so pretty! I think Kat is speechless. <laughs> I think Kat likes it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'm not taking it from you. <laughs> it's so cool. Wow. Jenna, this is so neat. Thank you so much. <laughs> Cat is speech. Wow. Cat is never speechless. Wow. Congrats. <laughs> so cool. Thank you so much. I know Cat is going to use the shit out of this. What are you going to use it for? I'm going to get a shelf for it and it's going to sit on the shelf and it's just going to be pretty. Okay. That's fine. You can do that if you want. It's just gonna be for the pretties. Okay. Well, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Maybe we could put um, a shelf over here in the corner and then uh, it'll be in the background when we're streaming. <gasps> yeah! That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again, Jenna. This is so awesome. So that'll be it for this week's vlog. It was uh, definitely a really good launch week. We had a lot done. About to dive into this next week. So make sure that you have some water. Go have a snack. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.